Hello, you join me at uh, Flat Earth Social number 15 or 16. We're here at the Pavilion Arms. We don't have a speaker tonight. We're gonna have one of our own. Uh, we're gonna have Sven doing some hidden history stuff, but um, we don't have a speaker. You have to go to hospital. So we're just having a social evening and we have eight new people turned up out of the blue. So uh, it's growing. I'm just gonna show you around a few of the people that are came. Gentleman came from Birmingham, knowing there wasn't a speaker. And his good lady wife Julie, this is Jackie, Emma. This is a new lady. This is uh, Liana. Nice name. We have a few other new people here. If you don't mind going on video, hello, my friend. What was your names, please? These are new people. Lee and Sophie. And Derek. Derek, who's been emailing me. These are new people come to Flat Earth for the first time. Uh, we'll chat a bit more about them in a minute. We have this fella here. What's your name, fella? Jason. Jason. He comes most of the most of the months now, which is excellent. We're going to go around here. We've got two of our long-standing ladies here. Hello. This is uh, Wiley and uh, this is Sam. They, I nearly, I'm sorry, Sam. Uh, these guys came to one of our first ones at uh, the Flat Earth Socials in Swanage when we did it over a year ago. And as you can see, it's growing now to... Uh, this is Trev. Hello, Trev. He's a regular for Flat Earth. This is a new guy. What's your name, fella? Oh, my name's Darren. Hello. Darren. Thank you, Darren. And this lady's new as well. Hello, my darling. What is your name, please? Evie. 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 Evie, what woke you up to Flat Earth? Oh, a long time ago. What was the one thing that uh, did it? I think what started me off was this, uh, Rob Skiba. Rob Skiba? Yeah, that's quite a long time That is quite a long time ago. Yeah, and I just... Excellent. Thank you, Edie. Thank you. Sorry, guys. Sorry. Um, we have uh, more people over here. We've got some mother flat earthers here. This is Annie. Hello, Annie. Say hello. Hi, Annie. Annie, what woke you up to flat earth? Um, he's called, um, Scott. Scott. Scott woke you up to Flat Earth. Our very own Scott woke him up to Flat Earth. There's some other ladies. Ladies, hello. Hi there. What's your name, my darling? My name's Tracy. Tracy. Yes. I've seen you here in a couple of Flat Earth socials, is that right? That's correct. What woke you up to Flat Earth, Tracy? Oh my God, um, I don't know how long ago it was, but it's a bit bloody obvious, isn't it? It becomes obvious. When you obvious. look at a ball and you pour water on it, yeah. and it doesn't actually turn around, and we're not going through a space at 66,000 miles an hour, or I'd be flying out the window right now. What about um, gravity? But <laughs> oh, gravity doesn't exist. Correct. But all the research I've looked at, where they've done like all the laser tests, and you can take photos from 60 miles away, and there's no um, dip, you know, it's meant yeah, to no go curve. down a few, exactly, no curvature. Well, what is there to research? Or do you believe NASA? Excellent. Yeah, well, Excellent. Don't do we don't. Thank we you, don't. ladies. Thank you. Ladies. Ladies. Hello. 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 Would you like to introduce yourself? Penny. You're I'm Penny. And I'm Jill. Jill. Hello, Penny and Jill. Hello. Now, have you been before? Yes. Did I see you come before? What woke you up to Flat Earth? My husband did. Your husband did? What? Did he drag you through the mire? He did. He did. He did. We yeah. love your husband. Excellent. Any particular proof that got you? You know, one of the proofs, the major Flat Earth proofs or not? Not really, no, just all of it. Just all of it? That's good enough for me. And you, my lovely? You woke me up. No. I came to a meeting last month. Yeah. <laughs> oh, bless your heart. And it was so interesting, I must admit. Because I always, I couldn't understand how, if it's round, how does the water stay on? Absolutely. Well, that's, I'm touched with that. Thank you very much. Yeah. I'll pay you later. <laughs> <laughs> so there you go. We, we've got... Um, you can see Flat Earth Social still going strong, no speaker this year. We'll take a couple of pictures. Um, and I want to come around, we're going to introduce Tony. This is Tony. Tony got in touch. Tony's a pilot, aren't you, Tony? Oh, I am. Oh, yes. yeah. Tony, how long have you been a Flat Earther? Um, well, since 2015 is the main thing with uh, Eric Dubay yeah. and uh, uh, Mark Sargent. Yeah, the clues were the one. Yeah, but he really up. Is, is once you had the internet, because I always did sort of half believe, but once you had the internet, then you realised you weren't alone. Yeah, exactly. That's the difference. 
and Tony, you've been, some information. You've been coming to a lot of our flat uh, socials. Yes. Which one has been the best one for you for this season? Um, well, a toss up between uh, Mark yeah. and David Wise. Excellent. Um, I would give them both equal billing. But then they are world famous, if you like, so <laughs> maybe that's a bit of an unfair Plain advantage. famous, they're plain famous, aren't they? Yeah. Tony, I appreciate that. I'm sure they will too when they see it. So there you go, we've got some uh, more new people, I think. I'm just about to speak to this chap here, if you don't mind. Hello, my friend. What's your name? Luke, nice to meet you, my friend. Nice to meet you, too. Um, Luke, are you a flat earther? Let's, let's start with the young uh, person. You've come to flat earth social. Uh, currently, I am not. Okay. But I like to keep an open mind, so okay. I've come to check things out. Okay. And see what uh, see what people have to say. You can't be can't be further than that. It's very honest of you to say so. Why do you think? you're here though, do you think that there is some truth in the subject? Uh, potentially, yeah, potentially. Okay, and you come from a globe background as such, I believe in the globe like we all were. Excellent, I'll talk to you separately later if you don't mind. There we go, is this your lady? My friend, okay. Is she a flat earther? Yes, she is. Excellent, thank you. Um, excuse me, Faye? Are you Faye? Yeah, yeah, I don't want to be Faye. Faye, that's fine. Well, some people don't want to be filmed. There you go. But um, I'm going to go and talk to uh, these ladies over here now. Because I want to ask them a couple of questions. Ladies, hello. Um, what was the number one thing that woke you up to flat earth? What's the number one proof? What made you tip over the edge? Not literally, obviously. Water. Property. Properties of water. Excellent, Jackie. You. <laughs> Next one. <laughs> I mean, really, I've not put any thought into it at all, really, until that day I met you. And That's nice. Yes. Yeah, oh, thank you. And then we had the two talks together. Yeah, we did, we did. Yeah, yeah. This is Jackie, Jackie White, by the way, uh, PLG, Positive Living Group, and Jackie White on uh, YouTube and Facebook. Please go to her website. She's a wealth of truth and information, and she's obviously a flat earther as well. So you can't be better. And yourself, my good lady, Ellie. 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 Flat Earth Day. Flat Earth Day. Yes. Yeah. Because he's very charismatic. <laughs> and it's no, he's not. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's really funny. Yeah. 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 Absolutely. Really? He knows his stuff. He knows his, he's a good lad. And then you got him here, so then it was you as well. Yeah. I'll take that. <laughs> and Leah, Le the lady's name I'm never going to remember. <laughs> What's your name? Leon. Leon. No, I, I can't remember the name of the series that I watched on it, and I should, and it began with an E. It's when I, an overlord. Was it a series of videos? Was yeah. it Mark Sargent's Clues by you chance? Iwaranon? Iwaranon? Did you watch yeah. that? Yeah. That's yeah. woke you up. Yeah. Excellent. Yeah. That's fairly recent, yeah. so you only. And, um, I'm not 100% certain, but the deep state states a globe. I think it must be flat, then. The history of flat earth. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So you're quite new to it? Yeah. In terms? Yes. What do you think is your biggest number one proof that, that's making you think, yes, it must be flat? I don't think I've got one. I think where they say that it's just words just fly. You know when words just fly so gently either way. And if it really is, would they just be gently flying either way? Well, I think I think they tell us that the atmosphere spins slightly faster than a thousand miles an hour. And yeah, I don't think it would make any sense at all for birds or any navigation. <laughs> It's ridiculous. Yes, so your natural senses, your God-given senses. That's very important you say that because one of the main things is they try and beat that out of your senses. They try and take your human senses away as quickly and as often as they can. And the water when it flows. Yeah. It doesn't flow uphill, does it? No, it's hard to do. Ladies, thank you for that. I appreciate it, and I'll talk to you soon. Well, there you go. You have a few, few of the people here. We're uh, 
We still have more people. We have another chap there who's just joined us. We're growing. Um, there's an awful lot of people here tonight. Without a speaker, there's nothing going on. This is proper flat earth social. This is where people chat, drink, and talk flat earth with like-minded people. We have 50 people here, 50 people. And there's no speaker and everybody's chit-chatting away, talking about flat earth to each other uh, and truthful stuff. So um, the community builds, gets bigger. Hopefully this can be replicated to um, other places and we can make flat earth social a bigger thing. I'm just gonna go and talk to a few other people, bear with me. I'm gonna go and chat to some ladies here. Apparently not today. They've got, they haven't got makeup, or they're not makeup ready yet in the studio. So, uh, but as you can see, um, and I've got to give, thank you, mate. I've got to give some uh, thanks to the Pavilion Arms here in Bournemouth who um, host us every last Tuesday of every month. Next year we have, in January, we have confirmed, um, who do we have in January? Mine's gone blank. February, we have Santos. Uh, March, we have Mark Devlin again. Uh, January, we have Martin Leedka, sorry, from uh, Flat Earth British, giving us a full presentation on Tataria hidden history, etc., etc. So that'll be one that most Flat Earthers have dipped their toe into as well. So it'll be a great presentation in January. Santos Bernazzi, the inimitable, amazing truth man, Santos will be doing uh, February. In March, we have Mark Devlin back by popular demand. And who knows who we're gonna get for the rest of the year. It's like I say, it's growing, it's great. Thank you for being part of Flat Earth Social. And uh, come and join us last Tuesday every month in Bournemouth. <laughs> so uh, what's your name? Where you come from? Uh, Martin Barber. I come from the Midlands of Owls Owen. Now, Hales Owen's about three hours away from here, is it? Maybe about, more. About three and a half hours. And you've come all the way down here on a dusty, dark, rainy Tuesday to uh, to become part of our Flat Earth Social. You've been here many times. Yeah. We appreciate your support. You've got to tell me, what's your number one Flat Earth proof? Number one. Number what's one. the one that, i tell you what, what's the oh. one that woke you up and then what's your best Flat Earth proof? You think? Okay, um, when we were told at school that the, uh, the Earth was a globe, yeah. And water sticks to a globe. And I could never get water to stick to anything. So then you you, you, you think about it, and you just... I went down the water route of the horizon levels and seven different oceans of which all blend into one. And yeah. You just think, nah, nah. <laughs> I don't know. And then they said, we're going to the moon, and I laughed my socks off. <laughs> Hence, NASA lies. Excellent t-shirt. <laughs> we really appreciate your support. No, you, you come a long way, you and your good lady. Um, we're really privileged you come. Today, and I mean, you've come to most of them, but can you see how many new people are here? Yes, we've got, there's, a, there's, a, there's at least a dozen new people I now I'm looking at. So uh, yeah. things are going a little bit crazy. So, hi, yes, come and interrupt. Do you mind being on camera while you're interrupting? Oh, sorry. You can be on camera, that's fine. I don't want to be Okay. <laughs> <laughs> we'll just finish up, I'll be with you in a minute. Thank you for that. So that's your best proof. Just quickly on the Flat Earth Social, what's been your best Flat Earth Social? Um, we've had lots of guests, we've had everybody, we've had David Weiss, we've had Alex yeah, yeah, Michael, yeah, we've, we've had Mark, we've had Dave, we've had them all, yeah. right? Yeah, so, we've, we've been here for all of them so far. Yeah, yeah, what's, um, what's your best one? Uh, uh, Michael. Uh, yeah, because we went to Spain and we met up. You think Alex is, Alex is your best, yeah. like, he's your favourite, right? Alex, we really enjoy Alex. And, and, and Jack, Alex, you're watching this, yeah, I know you will. Yeah, we like Alex really. Oh, well, he's doing. Have you seen his deal? Yeah. Five albums for twenty-three quid. Yeah, yeah. Got to yeah. be a winner. Yeah, yeah. And we got the uh, black, uh, black sheep. The album. black sheep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's a bit heavy. It's yeah, you know, but you're. He's good at what he I'm, does, though, isn't he? He's good at what yeah. he does. He's good on everything, so. But um, when we go to Spain next, hopefully we can get to see him again, Alex. <laughs> Thank you very much. So, Super. Yeah, and we like Dave Weiss as well. So. Yeah, they get they I think we've done well. I think we um, like all of them. Then anybody who's on the same wavelength, basically. I did. Them, um, I said next year we've got. We start off with Martin Leedka. Yeah. For a whole history Me thing, too. a great guy, you, He's a lovely, lovely fella. When you see him asking me about his Mexican hat, because I gave him that one. It, well, <laughs> you'll see him when he comes here. He's yeah. coming in January. 
Uh, in February, I've got Santos Benacci. Yeah, he's yeah, uh, he's going to come and do a live link with us. And in March, Mark Devlin's already booked himself yeah, yeah, yeah. in for another one. So no, that's Mark. all we got coming up for next year. But uh, I appreciate it. Thank you, my friend. I'm glad you come and uh, long may you continue. Cheers, buddy. And there you go. And I'm not kidding. As I'm stood here, another one, two, three. Another four new people. I, I have no idea what's going on. Something's wrong. They must be got the wrong place. Maybe they're coming to a party they think is going on. And uh, I don't know. But such is the draw of Flat Earth. It's getting enormous. I'm going to leave it there. Uh, and I'll talk to you all again soon. Thanks. Hello again. Right, I've just, we've had some, as I was saying, we had a lot of new people here tonight and two people have turned up from a different country. Please see these two ladies who have come all the way from South Wales. Hello, say hello to the camera. Hello. Ladies, it's your first time here at Flat Earth Social. Can I ask you a couple of things? You're obviously Flat Earthers. Yes. What was the thing that woke you up? What was the number one proof or what was the thing that tipped you away from the globe? Um, with regards to the globe, um, I just come to the uh, sort of the conclusion of a period of time. It takes time, I think. I yeah. don't think you just wake up one day and you've got to, yeah. You just see more and more things. Um, and I've got to be honest, I think the actual tipping point for me was when I saw, it sounds really trivial, but when I saw the um, the Who and um, oh, the various organisations that use Flat Earth as, as their logo. As their logo, and I thought, well, you Like the United Nations, for example, That's yeah? It, yeah, the UN. Excellent. Yeah. And so I thought, why, why would they do that? Excellent. If, um, you know, and also the, uh, is it Darlington Park in Sydney? Yes, they have a flat earth yeah. in the park, don't they? Actually, yeah, there's yeah. a couple in airports as well. Yeah, 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 yeah well. exactly. So, that, for me, that was like the tipping point, if you like. And then you went into it long yeah. hair. Yeah. Sorry yeah. about yeah. that. There is that element where yeah. you go mad, isn't there? Of course, yeah, yeah. Of course, yeah. But, yeah. Um, oh, really? Yeah. Excellent, thank you. And yourself, my lovely. Thank you very much. You're so great. I mean, I think. Um, with everything else that's gone over the, three, the last three years, yeah. it tends to be more open. Yes, agreed. To, to everything, and you look at everything from not an acceptance point of view, but Absolutely. have a look at it from, well, is this right? Or look at it from the other foot. So I totally they, agree. They tell one way. They'll tell, they'll tell well, this, this, is we've, this is something we found uh, specifically through COVID. Women woke up in their millions, in their millions, and they woke up in their millions to, and, they, and they've come to flat earth. They've come from COVID to flat earth. So it's maybe it's a natural progression for truth. Yeah. So, but ladies, thank you for coming. I really appreciate it. Thanks for doing this. Have a drink, introduce yourself, sit down, and uh, talk flat earth with a load of people. I appreciate it, ladies. Thank you very much.